This video has been brought to you by Bespoke Post. Good enough? Yep. All right. Nice. Been hearing a lot about this company called Bespoke Post, and turns out they want to sponsor a video. So they sent us a couple boxes. See what's in them. Basically, what this is is it's a monthly subscription. They give you seventy dollars worth of product for forty-five dollars. Comes once a month. If you don't like it, you send it back. So what I really like this company for and what really drew my attention is during the COVID-19 pandemic, they have invested $53 million in supporting smaller US companies to help them get through the pandemic. So for those of you that have any patriotism at all, we can appreciate that. So let's see what they sent us here. Starting off with the Forge. My box cutter. Looks like a new box cutter. All right, everybody likes a new blade. Try not to cut myself here. Da 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 da. Looks like we have a nice metal Damascus steel fixed blade knife here with a leather sheath. Let's move over here, see what else they sent us. The carnivore box comes with some barbecue rub, if you like barbecue, which I do, and A meat cleaver, which uh, this looks like it could do some serious damage. What? Anyways, let's go put this stuff to use. Another good thing about Bespoke Post is you only pay for what you want. You get a box assigned to you each month based off a quiz you're going to take on the website. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you swap it out. If you want to skip an entire month, you can skip an entire month free of charge. Plus, the box lineup changes every month. Just get started with your first box. Just click the link in the description. That easy. You saw him on the Sean Ryan Show. And if you haven't, you need to click that link up there and go watch that. Then, you saw his EDC pocket dump. And if you haven't seen that one, then you need to go up there and click that link. Ed Calderon, he's back. This time, he teaches me how to break out of flex cuffs. If you guys want to follow Ed, go down to the description. I posted his IG, that's Instagram, handle down there. You can click on the link, go over to Instagram, give him a follow. While you're down there, if you like these videos, you need to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, when we release more videos, then you need to click that bell down there as well. But ladies and gentlemen, Ed Calderon is here to teach me how to get out of flex cuffs. And if you want a more hands-on experience with Ed, then you go to his website, sign up for his class, and he'll tie you up too. All right, enjoy the show. Can you put them on me just slowly? Yeah. Like you put people in a position where you think they're like, all right? 
And he's making that very difficult. So this seems like I'm in a compromised position. It just force those on. I'm trying. We're not making this easy. I might have to make. I might have to make new ones. There we go. It's as tight as I can possibly make them. What the uh, hell just happened? So. That makes sense? Yeah. So just zip me full force now. Ooh. Okay. There's a cord. There you go. You got this, babe. I'm fucking doing it. Uh, also, the reason that you tra train barefoot is because your shoes, you don't count on your shoes even. Yeah. Uh, it's actually harder without shoes on. Because this shit's going to cut through your skin if you don't do it appropriately. <laughs> Not that but bad, but it's pretty bad if you don't know what you're doing. Try and fish it through your through your toe. Or big toe. Big toe. It's probably the best. All right. So remember, when they start, when one goes on, you're fine. When the other one gets on, that's what you want to go for. Does that make sense? Yep. So one goes on. And when the second, exactly, when the second one gets fished in, the, exactly, that's when that passive resistance happens, right? But for our intents and purposes, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. Put your, try to put your sounds. There you go. There you go. And... And... That's the first loop. Uh, remember, uh, try fishing uh, in on one toe first. Outstretch it and flip it over. Good. You always stretch one side so you don't get any tangles. You're doing great. If you can't reach your foot, you can cross it underneath the other one and just put yourself in a Japanese position. One set, now set the other one. This is the uh, tricky part. <laughs> yeah, those are the thick ones. Of course, thing I'm open is not going to be an option. Yeah, it's fished over. Yes. Keep track of that uh, loop. You're there. Oh, stretch yeah. forward, stretch forward. You are exactly where you need to be. You are exactly where you need to be. Nice.
It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was the, the doing it on your back the first time is usually we progress to that. So that really did pretty yeah. great. I yeah. know, right man. Nice, Dave. Thanks. What? That's right. It's gonna be a fun night in the bedroom. Nice. <laughs> Every time I go to like somebody that's a therapist of some sort, I was like, "Hey, yeah, uh, do you want to talk about your issues? <laughs> Are you a cutter?" It's fine if I, you know. We Only with my uh, pioneer woman knife.